To this day! Nino Brown Boxing, and I'm back in the building. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. All right, guys, so I heard the news yesterday that apparently Bob Arum was talking about he, were, he was in discussions with Dana White regarding Terrence Crawford uh, potentially facing or a possible fight with Conor McGregor. And this isn't just a regular discussion of uh, just a boxing match. This has been like a two-fight deal. Bob Arum went in further detail to discuss that, you know, Terrence Crawford has a, a wrestling background and, you know, Crawford basically getting in the octagon and Conor McGregor getting in the boxing ring. Now, how do I feel about this? I, me personally, I don't like this shit at all. Um, I feel like it's a waste of time and I'd rather see Terrence Crawford facing the other top guys in the welterweight division. But, the flip side to the situation is shit like this, I blame it on the fans. Now, some people are going to be like, oh, how? Like, what do the fans have to do with this? Not all fans. I'm talking about specifically the fans that put so much emphasis on popularity, A side and B side, and numbers. The fans that take so much of, so much heavy interest in. It's Crawford being unreasonable about how he values himself in the negotiations. Fans like to go in depth and talk about his pay-per-view numbers was 50,000 and they like to point out those factors. So often, those are the people that I blame because this wouldn't be necessary. It wouldn't be needed if boxing fans just prioritized what's the most important thing. And that's the shit that goes down in the ring. We just got a prime example of it doesn't matter how well known you are. It doesn't matter how unknown you are. If you're popular, if you're unpopular, whatever the case may be, how many tickets you've sold, how many main events you've had. Jason Rosario showed us this past Saturday, or he reminded us that that shit doesn't even matter. So with that being said, this type of move, I mean, obviously it's a money grab for Terrence Crawford if it was to happen. But at the same time, it will boost his numbers dramatically. A lot of this talk of just the 50,000 of minimal pay-per-view buys, it'll go away. All of this talk of uh, ticket sales and how much money he's made in a fight, it'll go away. See, at that point in time, Terrence Crawford will have a stand like, well, I'm coming off of making this much. This is how much my pay-per-view numbers did. And at this, it really, it really doesn't even matter. You know, a lot of people will want to use the excuse of, well, Conor McGregor sold that fight. At the end of the day, Crawford, it was he's a part of the event. He's a part of the main, ev the main event. And I look at it like this. If Canelo became a big star off of um, Floyd Mayweather. Shit, Con um, Terrence Crawford can definitely boost his uh, star status off of um, Conor McGregor. So, I blame the fans for this shit. Like, we'll continue to see goofy circus as entertainment style events being placed and being put on because a lot of fans like to concern themselves with pay-per-view numbers and popularity so i mean what do you expect a guy is going to go after that type of um outcome high pay-per-view sales high gates and um just big purses and that's that's just what it is now now this could all be bullshit. It can all be irrelevant. We're talking about what Bob Arum is saying versus what um, what uh, Terrence Crawford would actually do. It's two different things. I mean, we've heard Bob Arum on the other hand say that certain shit will happen and certain fights will happen regarding Terrence Crawford and nothing has come to fruition. So this could be just as big as a pile of bullshit as any of the other shit that he said previously or it can turn out to be true. All I know is, if it does happen, is I feel like it's definitely based around a lot of this popularity and numbers talk. And it sucks, but that's just the reality of the sport now. People like to focus more on the shit that happens outside of the ring and not value the shit that happens in the ring. It's Nino Brown Boxing. Shout out to the LDBC. And I'm out.